everyone welcome to job skills share and this video is the last video we are going to be making for a computer lab technician course in this video i'm going to show you guys just some basic other things that you guys might need to want to or might need to know about uh, troubleshooting things. Uh, it depends what you are, who you are working for, what kind of company and what type of labs they use. But most of the labs have printers. I mean, because some students might want to work and they want to print um, their resumes, projects, whatever. So another thing that you need to learn about is printers. And in this course, I'm not going to cover in details, you can take the Professor Messer uh, course, uh, CompTIA Plus, to kind of know a little bit more about printers, different type of printers, but some basic stuff that what we do if there's a printer problem. Now, most of the printers are on a static IP address. Is that your network administrator already configured IP address, meaning that there's a switch out there, which I can show you guys right now. So your network administrator already configured your uh, switch and basically you can see there are different wires going on. All these blue represent printers, meaning if this printer, is, if that Dell printer is plugged into this port, it's going to always get this IP address. Now that's pretty great because now when there's a power outage or something happens, um, this computer or somebody unplug this uh, port from there from the printer, then this printer always get the same IP address and that's why people will be printing without even problems. So if you don't set up that way, uh, if it's configured just like a normal computer, like a DHCP IP addresses, then it's going to change if power outages or something happens or IP release or something like that, then all these printers won't be able to print to this printer. So that's something you might want to know, um, how your printers are set up so you guys can manage it more um, better. So. Other thing, uh, if the printer is having issue, you need to change the cartridge, you need to change the color. If it's a color printer, you uh, this involves more of ordering, so you need to know the ordering systems online. Uh, companies will show you that. If they are using some kind of specific um, system, um, then they will show you how to order things. Um, other basic things are sometimes you need to change the memory, sometimes you need to check if it's getting a uh, connection. So if it's getting connection, that's something else. Um, so maybe sometimes you just need to uh, restart it by using the, the on and off or maybe you just need to unplug it sometimes sometimes that actually works uh, uh, like you know you don't want to do this with the big printers but if it's a small printer then usually that also works um, like for example it's showing that there's a this um, there's an error right there but uh, we have a toner that is low so we basically need to order that and that's that's a normal stuff so so the other thing you, you need to know about is projectors. So you could be using LCD or any other, maybe uh, these days, um, HD projectors. They, they have a lot of different ones. So you need to know how to turn this on, turn it off. You need to know uh, sometimes people will come in and say, you know, I can't get to... Uh, I can get this to like you know full screen. Can you can you make it a little bit lower? Can you make it a little bit brighter? And that's normal stuff that you probably as a lab technician, if you're working in a lab that have all these equipments, then you need to know how to make it work. Other things you need to know about is um, keeping things clean. So if you're a lab technician, I think it's your more I mean, most of the lab technicians' responsibility to to make sure that things are clean. So you need to find tools for screen, uh, uh, screen cleaning, computers, keyboard cleaning. So uh, once in a while, in a week days, uh, you probably have to do that. Also, for a lab technician, it's important to keep things everything in in a manageable format. So if you have a room, then you put all the computers with the same models on the other side, some on the different side. So you need, uh, if you're doing something very quick and one model is having an issue, then you're not looking around all the 30, 40 computers that you have um, in the back room to find that one model. So you need to make sure you have a better way to um, to organize things. So you put like your hard drive on this side, you know, memories, uh, some cables and stuff. Um, it's a great management because if you don't do this, your room becomes very messy and at the end you're actually hitting your job or you're getting more stressed because you're not even doing, you're not even finding small things uh, that are very easy. Uh, but you know all these little things they get, um, if you don't take care of it, it becomes a big mess. Trust me, it happened to me. Alright, so with this we have finished our course. Hopefully you guys have learned something from this course. Now one thing, um, only Membership Plus, <clears throat> sorry, only Membership Plus members can apply for this uh, certificate uh, and the project rating. So make sure you guys um, 
click on the membership plus right here and uh, look for the mem membership. It really helps our, our project and platform um, so we can basically uh, spend some resources, uh, look for new resources, uh, m make our other resources better. Uh, so do consider our membership. So when you click on um, Computer Lab Technician, this video will go under um, right here, Section 4. Um, we're going to do a summary video. And the assignment, the project will be uploaded here. There's going to be a video, uh, and that will you guys will look into the video and make sure you guys do the right project, and you will be graded, and you will get the certificate for this course. Thank you for watching Job Skill Share, and see you guys in a different course. Bye-bye.